hey man we, we got a 2k insider going over the builder and the future badges for nba 2k25 giving us some very valuable information that will most likely be coming in 2k and it's looking somewhat grim and positive at the same time oh my god oh my god so i'm talking about positivity when it comes to 2k what <laughs> We also got some ratings and some NBA Live 19 and 2K24 gameplay comparison. But before we get into all that, man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 295K.6. We are 40 subscribers away. And hit the bell. Show love to your boy. I'm gonna be covering all the 2K25 news, giving you the real. When the game come out, I'm gonna let you know the best build so you don't waste your bread for your play style. Be giving you the best jump shots so you not bricky and clicky. The best dribble moves for all your builds. I am the true G Grandmaster Sense. It's the ISO God Sense. And I always give the best locks and all that popper insides. Real quickly, let's just talk about the evolution of the My Player okay. Builder. We all know okay. 18 and 19 had the same builder. Uh. And 21 had the same builder. 22 uh. and 23 had the same builder. And 24, uh. now the expectation is 25 will have the same builder, but it will be some type of adjustments and changes uh -huh. as it was for every single 2k previously right click, click, i mean it doesn't click, take click, a rocket click. scientist to understand that click, there click, has click, been click, two click. that basically is in pairs two years two years two years two years so it seemed like the boy is saying that the 2k25 builder is going to be similar to uh 2k24 y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. the my player builder this year was extremely balanced and it's probably the best builder we've had the issue is how do y'all feel about that man to be honest, dog, this builder again was completely broken, bro. I really, I hate recency bias people, bro. Like people when it when it's their era, they are extremely like recency bias. The builder was decent, but it was extremely broken again, guys. Because your your attributes didn't matter. Your damn perimeter D didn't matter for mad long. They finally fixed that. And you don't need speed with ball because the game's broken fundamentally. You can get busy with no speed booster. It's crazy. You don't need speed with ball because you get best dribble style and all this and that. And those badges that you get, even when you put speed with ball on your build, it's kind of worthless. And this is not just for the skilled players or the for the casuals too. It's Especially because one move go one two three huh? not tapping into it right and then even when you got your speed with ball max you not out running that dude like like that to where you getting a score like, they really slow this game down for the people that go for the certain attributes you could basically have a demigod in this game and people say like it's, it's restricted I, I just don't understand you could be a contact dunk god shooting god playmaking god along with immaculate defense is that not a demigod or that not an all-star superstar i'm confused with uh people's vision with some some of this 2k stuff but you could make some straight demigod six six no the gameplay validates the build i don't think that's a, what a lot of people understand the gameplay is what creates the build builder is just a genjutsu it's an illusion guy attributes just a genjutsu man it's all about how they tune the gameplay that affects how good the builder is the more that you slide too far to the left where it's very strict people are going to complain the more you go too far to the right where you have extreme freedom people are going to complain and to me i feel like the equilibrium Balance. is always going to be somewhere in the middle right i always yeah. felt like pie charts were great and that was a good place a starting place and we could have built off of that I now feel about i know pie i brought up the idea of using templates and a lot of y'all like the idea right Cat. making like position has like 15 to 20 template builds that are pre-made for you the game will be free to play you buy the game and you can literally cat nobody liked that idea and guys templates are not it does not represent 14 15 16 or 17 or or 19 those are not template builds guys a template build is go in the builder right now you will see nba template builds you just you pick one and you buy it that's a template build right it's like my team if any of y'all played my team you just you have the car is preset animation that's horrible guys it's killing what 2k is and it's going into the money scheme 
Y'all don't want that. Y'all would like that for a mode, but they'll never do that because it'll kill their money. But guys don't want that. I promise you. Even y'all NPCs that are you little, you're tired of getting cooked, telling you, you don't want that. We do not need martial law in 2K, bro. That's not what 2K is, bro. Feel me? Like, they done showed their, their abilities of not being able to code so much that now they have to give you a direct build with SIGs because your individuality just breaks the game, apparently. Because your, your individuality just ruins the game, I guess. Balance the game. Patch it, boy. Damn. That, that, that's a weak cop out to me. If they were to ever go that route. And then and then another thing y'all don't understand is if they do that, guys, we're gonna get they're gonna get way more money out of us. Because they're gonna drop in their periods where they're down, they're gonna drop OP template builds that you buy. If, if it was to ever go this route, you don't want that. Think of it. It's literally just a reskin my team. You don't want that in in the Come on, guys, think. That gives them way more control over the pockets. They're going to really make you feel like you need to buy that template. You feel me? With a build that is pre-made for you and it's free, you do not have to pay any money to get that. The build is literally from the start, maxed out, 99 overall, free. Now, that kind of gives you that doesn't the even make sense. vibes of a pie chart, right? Bro, how, how would they have free template build? That... I don't I don't even understand uh the only way I can see them making it work if this was to be an option is you have to buy the template build. How how would it be free and them get their bread? I don't that don't make sense. I don't know. Was the ability to allow your player to continue to get better. Continue to get better in the aspect of whatever you okay. want to surpass as far as attributes you can do. And not trying to be too confusing. What I'm saying is is that let's say for instance you had like red yellow pie chart. And we all knew the red yellow pie chart, you're limited in finishing and you're limited in shooting. But if you the way I'm thinking it should be with the templates that I was talking about is that you could grind to be able to get their finishing, you could grind to be able to get your shooting, and you can still grind to be able to get your playmaking and your defense to whatever levels okay. you want it to be as far as capping out if it was like was the highest you could go okay so even though you had a template build you could continue to grind by doing certain type of achievements or your certain types of play style which 2k24 kind of flirted with that by your badges based upon your play style your badges would be able to get up to hall of fame if you wasn't utilizing a certain badge it could drop down to bronze and of course you know had all these other type of achievements and things you could do i thought that was a good idea but you could really build on it more by having the ultimate goal of your player being able to be for once in the park like a full-fledged LeBron James. But here's the kicker full that a lot of people LeBron are not talking James? about. Y'all want and that? And the reason why I feel like we'll never be able to get the true achievement that we want. And a lot of people don't talk about this. The reason being is because if you're able to truly grind and make a LeBron James build, what would be the purpose of you going into my team? Now, we all know my team is the money pit of money pits, right? Uh, leak, that leak, is leak, where leak, if leak. you play my team, you will be... Uh, he basically saying a uh, superstar build ain't happening. That's for my team. Spending dollar after dollar after dollar. We all know microtransaction runs king. And of course, my team is one of them. So that's the reason why. And how my team has just squeezed every dollar out of somebody. And how Take Two came out and said that microtransaction makes up like 70, 75% of their income. So if a lot of players just, in, in my team players too, if my team was like, bro, if I have to sit here and, and, and put in thousands of dollars a month, but I can go into the city, get a bill, play for some hours, and be able to have a, uh, uh, not a card, a player that is truly be a little Chamberlain, then what's the uh -huh. purpose of my team? And that's the thing. That's why I That's why I'm saying his template a suggestion just makes no sense. I don't even know why he'd bring it up. It seemed like he was trying to ease us into the whole template. He buy the templates, but I don't know, man. This, this, this video all over the place. When you look at your season passes, you see what? You in your season pass, even though you're a park player, you see way much more my team stuff than your park stuff. Why? Because 2K would love for you to go over to my team because my team is where they make their money. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, I truly do not believe there will never be a point where you could be a true superstar in the park or in the city where it's at. I just don't see it happening. I can't see it happening. As long as they're my okay. team, it's not going to happen. Now, if something was to happen. Hey man, this dude spams build videos every year. So I hear what he's saying about it. So superstars not happen anymore, man. You're going to be restricted. So uh, 2K can get them micro transactions. Uh, NBA 2K25 builder and future builders. Click, 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 click. 2021 had the same builder 22 23 had the same builder 24 introduced a new one guess what 25 expect that builder to be the same just a little bit of changes that's my humble opinion you're going off history i'm going off trends and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that now if 2k was to go ahead and deviate from that and only do a one-year cycle for something then we might see a different type of builder but in my humble opinion this was their first year of this type of builder i, I expect it to be 
the same type of builder again in NBA 2K25 with just some subtle little changes uh, that they subtle realized changes. on 24 that was copy okay maybe banks, copy changes here and do that I also expect the success of community builds. I expect that to be back. Those okay. NBA player please, templates, please, please, I expect please. those to be back. That was pretty successful. So you can kind of get the trends of 24, take oh. the positive things out of the builder, please, please, and throw it in that. I believe with Demi, he has somewhat of an input with builds and badges, somewhat, but not like that. I, I, I don't really know, but I, I think I think they be hearing him out low. Bell out. I don't know why bell outs in the game. Um, I can understand people belling out of a shot, but not as accurate as it should be. Mm -hmm. so, Bell out one of the worst badges in 2K history. Now, is this just gonna be straight opinion based? Because he's saying these badges will not be in 2K25 for the title. So I'm the court. He's double teamed. He throws a dot Horrible. over his shoulder. Horrible. And again, it's a shot that's made. Now, some of y'all might go, he, he bobbled it. I'm gonna take some right now, man. This man must have X ray vision to throw a dot. I want y'all to go to the park right now and throw some, throw some stuff around Alonzo Morning Horrible. as hard and accurate as that is. At least it should be a lollipop, right? It shouldn't be as hard as that is. Oh, but some of y'all oh, gonna be like, he, he, he bobbled it. But then explain this right here. What in the hell was that, bro? Like, this man took a ball, he threw it right over his right shoulder with his opposite hand. He's right handed. He throws it with his left hand and a right hand horrible. and throws a dot over horrible. somebody's head. Come on, horrible. man. Pro play. Like, like, that is not basketball. Now, the question will be. Pro play passing. Well, um, you get this. Let's look at it again. Why are. Hey. Like, well, guys, if you think pro play is real and not marketing gimmick, you really think what they market pro play as, you are lost and deluded. This might be the worst year for passing. One of the worst years for passing ankle. It's actually just like throwing the ball. We couldn't really see bailed out cheese as much, which is good because the requirement is so high, but passing's pretty bad, bro. I hope they rework it for a 25. Because uh, to me, I feel like bailouts in the game because the courts are small and defense and the my players are big. And there is not enough room to create space to where you can get consistent open shots that you should potentially do if the courts were bigger, right? That's why I believe the courts yeah. need to be bigger, right? I know Power DF made a, a thing Bro, about saying, hey, please, Demi, if you make the courts bigger, I might love you, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. I would, I, I might cry if, if really make the courts bigger for 25 i might cry that's gonna open everybody's bag it's gonna make people have more real defense not get helped out everywhere and it's gonna help the casuals develop a bag and within themselves it's gonna create more real realistic offense and skills gonna skill for the game is gonna require more for offense and defense you'll be able to exploit people that make yields with no d even more so y'all realistic heads y'all gonna like that that's it's just an excellent feature the older 2ks the court seemed bigger bro it wasn't as more restricted they did that to try to limit the top percent but how did that work out didn't work out but it's Demi really been on about it with the bigger court stuff i know some people might think of it as negative because they they think dribble cheese and all this and that guys it's it's better for you better for the game I promise you man when you really look at it on all sides better for the game and and what really what basketball really is man my players might need to be smaller like the player models might need yep. to be smaller if you don't want to make the course bigger make the player yep. model smaller yep. and get rid of bell out bell out should not be in the game it should be just literally yep. based upon your pass accuracy and then individual can just throw listen nobody listen before i'm, I'm trying to get here but come on bro yep. no one should be throwing the ball over their back like that that hard no one w, can do that physically. it's not real it's never happening yes. in real life you're not doing that yes. or if you was to do it it's yes. one out freaking a thousand that you're actually hit somebody accurate enough to where uh -huh. it's going to be hard accurate and where it needs to be right especially in traffic over the shoulder behind the defender like we're not talking about you just get the ball down to the court and it's thrown over your shoulder no these both of these were you can really see how cheesy uh, 2k is when you play my team and got these players with all these hall of fame badges Points animations that were just unorthodox and hard right it's not going to be like that it should be a soft lollipop or a loose oh. ball or something like that but to me that's where it needs to be, all right? Make the courts bigger, or make the player model smaller, or do both, hell, right? You can just look please. at the angle here, look at that. Like, there goes another bell out just thrown out. Bro, right please. Across, out of a shot, please. a dot right down there to the paint. It's just it's just something that shouldn't be in the game, right? In my okay. home opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I look, bailout was in the game even before it became a bat. It just worked based off the attribute. You could throw these passes, but it, it wasn't as bad as it got once the badge was introduced. I have a problem with the fact yeah. that once you activate Acrobat, there is no yeah. timing. You don't have to worry about timing it. Exactly. There is no meter or anything like that. Okay. So you literally can just go to the paint, double tap square, and get up. That's what I'm saying, bro. But these double twisting. Demi, bro, see, this, this is this is what we want out of you, dog. All that other stuff, man. Bro, this 
this is what we want out of you, dog. All that, bro. Guys, y'all might not know, but some people don't know. We can finally lay up, lay up. In it. Guys, that, it's, it's broken. I don't get cooked by layups, but I see it, right? And I could have really imagined if people was really like, really, I was versing it, how it could really be. Cause I cheese with it. 97 layup builds, 99, 91, I have them. It, I'm unstoppable, bro. You can already floater cheese. All you gotta do, it pass your man. Instant floater from hella long, instant green, hella easy to hit the window. But now you can just run to the rim. You can just double tap square. And since the contest system is so horrible, and they did this on purpose to make layups more OP, they made the interior D have less logic. And a lot of things are open if your hand's not right on the ball. And with 2K, with how the animations are, bro, you can't really have it. Just if your hand's not not right next to the ball then it's it's it don't work too good if you still in front of the bull and you got body contact it still should be some sort of contest and then the badges but bro when you have it like this and you could just spam that layup you don't already get the animation to where you're gonna be wide open that hoe is broke especially in a game of animations you could just throw people and run through people and then you could just acrobat you just guys you can literally just run to the rim in the red you just run to the rim hold square double tap square it's 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 just it, it's not it some outlandish type stuff like it's supposed to be a hard shot right here, to like, make man what is this how does that even go see that's in? corny Look, it threw somebody's that that's guys that's what I'm talking about when people say the game more realistic, prone playing, da -da -da -da. bro. Things are more broken, and th this is like this is like that's an arcade that's really like more OP this year. Th this is what I be trying to lay, like, hey, man. But that's, I, I, that's corny to me. Body, like I'm really I can understand a little bit. How but acrobat? Look at that. Come even on, how, that, how we made it. That that's what I mean. Y'all y'all see how he y'all see that right? Look look at this. You see how the animation, look at this. You see how it's just like, it's an animation fight, right? Look, oh. when when you have the contest system like this, where it's like ball by hand and all this and that, in a game to animations where you're just thrown and, and all that, it's it it messes up the realism. And it it unbalances the gameplay. Like, look, how act look, he just acrobatic through him and just you feel me it's, and since his hands not there at least fixed to be a meter right okay. they gotta be something you see what i'm saying and the how y'all feel about a meter if you have it on gold or hall of fame park my team whatever you can just go to the paint see a contest double tap square and i'm gonna say listen this is all what i'm saying here, we're talking about like there's probably like 90 something percent chance it goes in unless bro, it gets blocked that, and that's what then, i'm don't saying even, like so it's like that's what i've been saying i wouldn't necessarily bro. go and say that it needs to be gone i just say that it needs to be a meter or something you gotta at least time the damn thing right you can't just not have any just go to the basket double tap square uh -huh. and just know it's going in right I it agree. needs to be some type of timing mechanism like you got to be able to time that so you go up there's a meter you double tap square then has something you got to time something has to come up now i don't know if it's because you have the layup meter for the first time there's like this new contest system so maybe it messes up everything on the back end where you know you go up and the meter's there and you double tap square does a meter pop up again half the time i don't know but regardless it has been something that's been very overpowered this year and it's mm -hmm. been abused i know i've been abusing it i know a lot of y'all watching this have abused it because why not if it works and People it goes not in, it hit. goes like a lot of rec players i almost never see it in random rec right but when you start to play versus more skilled players you see that's why when people like, talk about the game they don't understand right they don't they don't know what's really going on their opinion shouldn't hold that much weight they don't they don't understand bro they don't play versus anybody with any thumbs and, and again if you don't if you're not a slasher don't have a build that's a slasher or you don't play my team then you're not gonna really understand but yes acrobat needs to be reworked there has to be something that can be done to fix that because it is automatic i'm telling you it's automatic right now especially in my team where everybody had hall of fame badges and i was just playing regular yesterday and i was on my high fly build i have acrobat hall of fame and i was literally just going in there just doing all different types of stuff man just double tapping square getting bucket after bucket after bucket and guess only what? one i missed was one that got blocked and get and guess what and guess what this is what i mean by this would be considered sim cheese right cheese that doesn't take skill right this is the things they like to do the little sim nation community they like to do stuff like this and cheese 
but they just say it's it's a real move this is cheese it's easy to do and it's it's exploitive and it's very hard to stop the cheese that they say talented players do it's very hard to do and it's very low percent that knows how to do it and you might be low-key putting yourself at a disadvantage like it's the left right that everybody hates only a low percent can do that and if you could do that you're really good at game right mechanically and you understand and your iq's higher you to make certain reads no npc can't just do that but an npc can go and double tap square right you see there's cheese that takes skill and there's cheese that don't take skill, right so when people be trying to talk all this realism and all this and that your cat bro you want a casual game not a realistic game right and the, and this one right here it, it gotta be gone like so, whistle to me whistle is 1a 1b as the I, I heard it was uh horrible in my team i didn't really see a lot of that in park and random wreck y'all y'all let me know how y'all feel about it maybe play now but i didn't really see the abuse of it in wreck and park I'm not gonna lie so i don't really know too much about what's worst badges in the game um when it comes to bailout i just want you to see this like all you all you have to do any type of contest as you see right there any type of contest you do on this game with somebody that has gold or hall of fame whistle you are going to get called for a foul no offense but everybody in wreck pro am they didn't even adjust uh, it definitely pro am in my team pro am and my team players know how crazy gold and hall of fame whistle is now most people just have gold right mm. so but even gold i never is really noticed it i wonder why power. no one really plays the game just to sit here and watch free throws all day you saying and it's just a thing just like bailout it's just a bailout you can run and do a fade real quick and you will get a call i see i see some bs fouls and you be corny i saw one dude's video i don't remember his name i didn't even know it was possible like, he was like doing a move it, it was just like kobe or like james harden he'd do a move and then go up again and get the foul every time and sometimes make it i was like whoa and in the wreck i was like whoa i didn't even know this was a thing he was like, drawing fouls like Damn, why is it this viral everywhere like, what in the hell you can run, do a fade, and you can get a call. Just right there, as you see right there, same thing. He just went there, just hit square, went to the line. He's going to the line for a foul. Nothing you can really do about it. Like, go to the line, they hit their free throws, they get it two points. When time's running out, just go straight to the line. Just, hey, just go to the basket, press square, so double tap, probably gonna get square, try too. to get acrobat, or try to get a whistle a, a whistle call. Like, that. that's really what the game has become when it comes to the acrobat badge and the whistle badge combination going to the basket. It's, it's just ridiculous. It's extremely strong for no reason extremely strong and i feel like it needs to go because nobody wants to see there and watch people shoot foul calls or get uh, whistle calls look germ tweeted out nba live 19 compared to nba 2k 24 and look i've been saying man 2k is going backwards man you trying to uh recreate a game that's been crushed that's been proven people don't like their gameplay it just makes no sense guys the direction the speed everything they're trying to do it's like they're trying to do the live instead of what made them successful. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. James anticipates LeBron James. Hey, LeBron. We got a little dunk. We got a, we got a shot in the corner. Okay. So Jalen Wells is a 68 overall. I think Ronnie did an interview or something or Instagram, whatever. I do. And he they saying this Fufu boy is a 70 overall. Look at Ronnie. Ronnie, you too tall for all that. Mad. Ronnie, we want to see gameplay, dog. Man, y'all click the video on the screen if y'all want to hear. Oh, in 2K25, you might have a job. Just like GTA roleplay, you might have a job and we might be eating cheeseburgers and fries and milkshakes to recharge just to walk around the city. You gotta watch it. You gotta see what they talking about, man. Click the video. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.